say coaching is mad, M-A-D, mad. And what that means is it makes a difference. The M-A-D makes a difference. And it always, always makes a difference for the good. Hello everyone, here is Coaching Crew International. My name is Denisława and I'm founder and CEO of Coaching Crew. Today I'm gonna introduce you one really special, my first special guest in our broadcast. How I decide to make my first step in coaching. What that mean coaching and who is the person who helped me? Very welcome to my special guest, which is the founder and CEO of Novo Manhattan Coaching, Mr. Gerard O'Donovan. Hello, Gerard. Thank you so much to be my guest at Coaching Crew International. It's my pleasure. My first question is, what is for you the word coaching? Oh, that's an interesting one. Um, I guess what it means to me is different from the normal formal definition. So you have a number of definitions of coaching and we've created, I've created one. But what it means is different. What it means is a feeling. It, it's a deep feeling of the intense satisfaction I get and people get from helping another human being. That's what it really means. A huge, huge feeling of well-being, satisfaction, a feeling of a job well done when you can help another human being to grow. So it's not an academic thing. It's, it's a feeling thing, you know. How many years from now you're a founder of Novo Manhattan? Well, that's another good question because the answer is strange. I, we, I came across coaching in 1995 yeah. and I took a year to train. And then I started coaching myself with clients at the end of nine, middle to end of 1996. That was just me as an individual coaching. And I coached every single day for nearly three years, um, two, three hours a day sometimes, every day, learning, understanding, uh, becoming practiced. And then in 1999, the very end of 99, beginning of 2000, over that Christmas period, we started to train coaches. So as a company, we've now been training coaches for 20 years. As an individual, I have been coaching people for about 23, 24 years. Wow. Yeah. That's a long time. That's a really <laughs> long time, Gerard. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, but, you know, I listen to your, um, some of your interviews, and um, one of the interviews you say, um, how you become... Um, uh, your first introduction about the coaching training. Um, I will give you a little tip if you if you can't remember. Uh, there is one lady in Olympic uh, area in London. Can you remember that? Oh, How sorry. Yes, of course. Yeah. Right. Yeah, a lady called <laughs> Laura Berman Fortgang, an American lady, a coach, based in New York. Uh, I was running a... Uh, I had paid for a uh, an exhibition stand, a three-day exhibition at a, um, it was called the Vitality Show at a place called Olympia in, in London in 1995. Um, and I was running a very small business, uh, Noble Manhattan Personal Development. I had me and one secretary. That was it, one helper. <laughs> and we paid for a stand. And on the second day, I was getting a bit bored standing, just standing there. Uh, so I said to uh, my help, Stacey, she was my PA, uh, I'm going to go for a walk. And I said, I'm going to get a coffee and just walk around. And Olympia is huge. There's probably 800 different exhibitors over different floors, huge area. And I went for a walk. And as I passed a door, 
a fire door, it opened. And there was a lecture going on in a room. And someone had come out the back of the room uh, through the fire door, just as I passed. And I heard this American voice, quite strong lady's voice. And it sounded interesting. So I actually slipped in through the open door. Now, everyone else had paid to go to that lecture. Um, I have to admit, and I'm, you know, I'm apologize, but I, I didn't. I just went in and stood at the back. And I heard this lady talk about this new industry called life coaching. I'd never heard of it. And I stood there for about an hour and listened to her. And then she finished. Everyone uh, get, shook her hand, went up. She was selling some books. She had some CDs she was selling. So I waited until all of that had gone and everyone had left the room, everyone. And then I went up and spoke to her and introduced myself. And uh, we didn't have uh, mobile phones the way we have today. We didn't have LinkedIn, um, Skype. So we, we exchanged business cards. And uh, I got in touch with her. And it was that that started my journey. I then ended up doing different courses. I did three different courses over just over a year. Um, American courses. I live in England. Uh, there was nothing in England, nothing in the whole of Europe in 1995 was coaching. Zero. Yeah. And I was so lucky. I trained with one of the greatest men in the coaching world called Thomas Leonard. And Thomas Leonard, people call him the father of coaching. He actually invented the word life coaching. And um, I trained with him. And I was... Um, blessed absolutely just the universe provided that uh, i i couldn't have been more lucky um and then i did another course and then i did a course with a lady called cheryl richardson from arizona another american coach um so i did three completely separate courses in just over a year um and then started to coach so that that was the beginning of my journey completely by accident although People would say that nothing is by accident. So. Um, General, do we need to have a big strategy, a big business plan to start our own coaching training business or whatever? No, 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 no. And this is a, right. This is a problem in the coaching world. Mm -hmm. There are lots and lots of people out there in the world who are trying to get the money, money from coaches to pay for advertising, special courses, how to use LinkedIn, how to use Facebook, how to use Google adverts, how to have a better website. How, and, and there's a great danger that young coaches who are new will become afraid. They will become fearful that if they don't do these things, they will not succeed. Now, all of those things, they're nice. They're nice to have, but they are not essential. Um, and what I'm about to say now may sound very strange, very weird, but everything in life is vibration. Everything is energy. We live in a, a quantum universe where quantum physics rules. And in quantum physics, vibration is everything. Einstein actually said, nothing happens in this world until something moves. And movement is vibration. And the truth is that you and I, we live in a cosmic universe where we are magnets. You and I, we attract to ourselves people, places, opportunities, and things consistent with our dominant thought patterns. So what we have to always be aware of is that you will attract to yourself whatever you um, focus your attention on. And if you are in a place where you are holding a vibrational pattern of lack, anxiety, fear, that is what you will attract. But if you can position yourself in a vibratory 
position where you are filled with gratitude, positive belief, positive energy, you will actually attract to yourself the people, places, and opportunities to help you grow. And clients will come, you know. Now, there are certain strategies, of course, um, email strategies, building databases, having a nice website, having a nice Facebook profile, LinkedIn profile. These all help. But you have to be very careful about where you spend your money because everyone out yeah. there, everyone wants your money. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really, I'm really agree with you. So here is some, the moment I want to share with you what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Coaching Creo is the platform for specialists and experts. That was my big fear uh, when I start my when I finish my coaching uh, diploma uh, by Noble Manhattan. Um, that was like two three years ago. I can't oh. remember. <laughs> it was a long time. <laughs> and then Gerard, I started to think about how I can deliver my service. And then just start thinking, maybe I have to go to social media. Okay, maybe some of my friends, they can become my clients. But that was my big struggle. And uh, how is coming the idea about the broadcast? Uh, it's not just to have a conversation with some of our teachers or with some of our um, uh, colleagues. Uh, like, for example, you, you're the founder of Noble Manhattan. But... Here is the moment to say the coaching career platform is not just um, to have a conversation. We make a really a good big uh, opportunity to deliver your service. For example, some of your students, they can um, be part of this platform to, mm -hmm. to say, hey, I'm here. <laughs> um, that was my big struggle. And then um, I organized um, and I start my journey with coaching Creo. Uh, how you say, I didn't have any, any idea how um, that will be, become um, a business or um, do I need to have a big business plan? No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Uh, my it's, next, yeah. You actually, you are living proof of the fact that you don't need a big, extensive, complicated business plan. Yes, yes, it is true. Um, the next, my, uh, my next question is, um, how do you think, what is the really most popular coaching training, for example, from the Noble Manhattan? Uh, the people, they want to become a coach, like, um, do we need to have first the diploma for life coaching or, or we can become a um, business coach? Sure. What is the difference? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that question has got many different parts to it. Um, first of all, there's, I guess, where do the coaches come from or the students who want to be coaches? And it, it, it's different for different countries. And we, we now, we have students in 31 countries. We do it in seven languages, all of our training. And it's different. For example, in the United Kingdom, about 60% of people want to be life coaches and about 40% want to be um, executive or manager coaches. In places like Poland and Turkey, it's the opposite. It's, it's about 80% want um, our managers and their company pay for them to train to be coaches. Mm. And there's only about 20% yeah. pay themselves to do the training because they want to be life coaches. So it varies, it varies dif very differently per region, per culture, per country. Why, why they come, you know. Um, in terms of the different types of coaching, again, there's a lot of confusion out there. We have a research department and we have research that there is today um, 54 different niches or types of coaching, 54, 5, 4. So when you train, you could be a 
health coach, a wealth coach, a career coach, a goal coach, a relationship coach, a life coach, an executive coach, a wedding coach, a divorce coach, a belief coach, a confidence coach, a, a cross-cultural coach. There's so many. But actually, yeah. these are all marketing techniques or methods. You don't need to do a different course for all of those. So if you want to be a coach and you choose the right course, then with most companies, not just ours, there are other good companies out there as well. And I'll tell you some. There's a company called CTI, I think the world of. There's a company called Ericsson that are very, very good. Mm. The Fielding Institute. These, as well as our company, are called the Premier, the Premier Division. Um, so as long as you go to a good coach training company and you do one of their proper in-depth courses, then that's all you'll need. You don't need to do another course, another course, another. One good comprehensive coach training program, like the one you did, or the, the, the diploma, that will qualify you to be a life coach, an executive coach, a team coach. So you will have all of the knowledge, the skills, and the ability to then go out and coach almost anyone on anything. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about having to do another course and another again and again and spending more money and, and so on. Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, my next two questions is a little bit casual about why you love coaching, why you love to do a coaching with people. What does that mean in insight for you? It's a, again, it's, it's all, always to do with feelings and emotions. It's never a logical reason. It's not logical. Yeah. It's not financial. It's not academic. It, it's very, very emotional. And when I'm working with, I mean, I do two things. I, I myself, I am a coach. So I coach individuals and managers and company executives and all sorts. And I love, absolutely love the feeling that I get when I see them achieve and push through barriers and overcome obstacles. Then the other thing I do, of course, I run a coach training school. So we train men and women to be professional, accredited, qualified coaches. And again, it's down to the feeling, the emotion. It's a, it's a different feeling. But when someone comes and they want to do coaching, but they don't know much about it, they just have a desire. And it takes a year, 350 hours, you know, takes over a year for men and women to do the program. And you see them change. You see huge changes in them physically, emotionally. You see changes in their character. You see changes in their confidence. You see changes in their self-belief, in their self-esteem. All of those rise. They all uh, change positively. Um, and that's just an incredible feeling to think that you have been part of that change in them. Um, and yeah. I often say that when I sometimes write on a flip chart, I say coaching is mad, M-A-D, mad. And what that means is it makes a difference. The M-A-D makes a difference. And it always, always makes a difference for the good, always for the positive, never for the bad. So that's why I do it. I, I just love it. And it gives me energy as yeah. well. You know, I, 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 it always gives me a huge amount of energy um, when I'm either coaching or helping to train people to be coaches. Yes. Um, Gerard, what you would like to uh, wish for our followers at Coaching View International, um, I know the time now is a little bit interesting in our life. But I know the coaching, the people who can deliver that kind of service can help many, many, many ways. Sure. And although we are living in, in a diff different and difficult and strange time all around the world, 
this will, there will always be difficult times. Okay. The reason is just different. There are economically different times, politically diff difficult times in many different countries on a regular basis. What I wish for the viewers is that they can find a way to help other people. You see, I learned something from one of my early mentors many, many, many years ago, uh, an American called Zig Ziglar. And he said something that struck in my mind. He said, you can get anything you want in life by helping other people to get what they want first. And the most important word there is the last word, first. I've often heard people use that phrase and they forget the last word. So you can get anything you want in life by helping enough other people to get what they want first. So it's the law of the universe. What you give out, you will receive. What you plant, you will sow. If you help other people, you will receive help yourself and you will grow in any way that you want. Men mentally, with friendships, with love, with money, with materials, whatever you want in life. But you have to help other people. And the key word is first. Thank you so much um, to be part of Coaching Creo, and that is big, big my pleasure. Oh, it's been my pleasure, and it's lovely to see you again after all this time. It's lovely to catch up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Gerard, and see you soon again. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Bye now.